Hey, San Fernando Talk, Real Talk, so let's talk. So it's pasta night, it's pasta Monday, and I'm gonna do the pasta, but I'm not gonna do it until either tomorrow or Wednesday because I have literally every pasta pot, every cooking pot I have on my stove making homemade spaghetti sauce right now. So that's not a, it's the truth. And I just don't have the bandwidth to do different things like whatever, anyway. Let's talk about make the magic happen. So I truly believe that magical moments happen for reasons. Not all of them are, um, you know, just happen. Some of them are scripted. Some of them are meant to be. Some of them we make it happen. And that's the point. I've really thought so much about making the magic happen. How your life feels different when you make the magic happen. What you get out of it when you make the magic happen. And it's not just about sex, but because I talk about sex, I'm going to talk about sex. Sex is a magical thing and it can be and should be a magical thing. It should be the kind of thing that takes your breath away. It should be, you know, spontaneous or planned. So scripted sex is fine. There's nothing wrong with scripted sex. It's just, it goes to show that you put the effort in to plan it. You made arrangements, you've got flowers, candles, maybe some chocolate, nice bottle of wine or champagne or Prosecco chilling in the fridge. Or if you drink red, then that's uh, the, the wine is open and it's uh, breathing. And you have a plan for either dinner or appetizers or whatever it is that turns you on. Making the magic happen starts in your brain. Everything starts in your brain. That was a very brilliant thing for me to say. But when you want the magic to happen, sometimes there's nothing more magical than you being you and letting the person that you adore, want, desire, need, know how much you want to be with them. Make the magic happen while you have the opportunities. Don't wait till it's too late and don't wait until you no longer have those opportunities. I think magical moments, to me a magical moment would start with, you know, you coming up behind someone, uh, you either do doggy or you, you go in from the back, whatever, if you're not into anal, and I, we already know how some people feel about that. But make the magic happen because honest to God, every day you're alive is a chance to make the magic happen. For any of us, myself included, who've lost our significant others, you know how difficult it can be to try to get back on track, to try to find that person that accepts you for who you are, loves you for what you are, and knows that what you are and who you are matter more than anything else in the world. Make the magic happen. Start today, start tonight, do it. And next week, we'll talk about making the magic happen, what it did for you and how you feel about it. Let me know what you think. Diane from Diane Talk, Real Talk, Wheel Talk. There's another one coming up right behind it.